CompTIA A plus Core 1, 220-1101, Practice Exam. Questions 81 through 85. This video is part of our Practice Exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 81. Which Wi-Fi standard is capable of operating on both 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz frequencies? The answer is D, 802.11ac. The 802.11ac standard is capable of operating on both 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz frequencies because it was designed to support dual-band wireless technology. This means that devices using this standard can communicate over the two different frequencies. Question 82. A technician is setting up a workstation's network settings manually. The workstation can ping company servers using their IP addresses, but not through their UNC paths. What network setting might be causing this connectivity problem? The answer is A, domain name system. The domain name system is responsible for translating domain names such as those used in UNC paths into IP addresses that computers use to locate and communicate with each other over a network. If a workstation can ping servers by IP address but not by UNC path, it suggests that the DNS settings may be incorrect or the DNS service is not resolving the names properly. Without proper DNS resolution, the workstation cannot convert the UNC path names to their corresponding IP addresses. Question 83. A user just installed a TV and soundbar to enhance their audiovisual setup. Upon completion, the TV is emitting sound, but the soundbar remains silent. What could be the most likely reason for the soundbar's lack of audio? The answer is D. The HDMI arc port on the TV is not being utilized. The HDMI arc port on a television is designed to transfer audio directly to a soundbar. If there's no sound coming from the soundbar while the TV itself is emitting audio, it probably means that the HDMI arc port is not being utilized. This specific port needs to be used for the sound to be channeled from the TV to the soundbar as using a standard HDMI port will not send the necessary audio signal. Question 84. What technology can be employed to establish a secure connection between a remote user's laptop and a company's server? The answer is B. VPN. A virtual private network, VPN, can be used to create a secure connection between a remote user's laptop and a company's server because it encrypts the data traffic between the two points. This encryption ensures that sensitive information is transmitted securely over the internet, shielding it from eavesdropping or interception. VPN provide remote users with a way to access company resources as if they were directly connected to the internal network maintaining security and privacy, even when using unsecured or public networks. Question 85. A technician is servicing a projector that is displaying blurred images. Which action will most likely correct this issue? The answer is A. Adjusting the lens. When a projector displays blurred images, Adjusting the lens is the primary action to take because the focus of the lens directly affects the clarity of the projection. If the lens is out of focus, the images will appear fuzzy. Adjusting the lens helps to sharpen the image by ensuring that the light passing through it is correctly focused onto the projection surface. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did. It's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal.
To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.